Many of us know what Minecraft is, but Minecraft now to what it used to be when it was first released was very different. Being announced all the way back in 2009 and starting out only on Java, to then Bedrock and Pocket Edition, to Minecraft Dungeons, and now Minecoins. As you can tell, Minecraft has changed a lot. But that begs the question, why was a surprisingly simplistic sandbox game so popular back then? And how is this still going on now? Well, let's start from the beginning, back in 2009, when Minecraft was announced. Minecraft was based on the idea that you could do and build whatever you wanted. But keep in mind, Minecraft 1.0 was the bare bones of Minecraft. Being extremely simple, you spawned into this unknown world and you had no idea what to do. There was no straightforward goal. What was straightforward was the PvE being able to build and how the game looked. Nothing was complex. Minecraft let you experience it however you wanted, in the most simplest of ways. But even if we could experience Minecraft in any way we wanted to, we all weirdly did the same things at one point. Like build a house entirely made up of diamond blocks, or dig straight down and accidentally fall into lava, or maybe try to summon Herobrine. As you can tell, we all think alike. But as time went on from update to update, we slowly figured out how the game worked and everything we could think of. And because of that, it introduced majority of us to a new way to experience Minecraft. You see, the early days of YouTube and Minecraft in 2010 to 2015 really showed how much Minecraft could become. The creators were able to take a simplistic game and mold it into a viewer's enjoyment. You had the comedic videos from Lexus Guide as Minecraft, Let's Play series from Stamp Your Aphmout, mod reviews from Dan TDM, challenge videos from Sunday or popular MMOs, parkour videos of Preston Plays and Mr. Wuffles, the Hunger Games series of Beijing Canadian and ASF Jerome, Maybe you want to learn some redstone from the likes of Monkey Farm, Seth Bling, or Ethos Lab. You could also explore custom maps with the Yogscast, and you could learn the secrets of Minecraft from Ant Venom. Maybe you wanted to watch the original SMPs from Hermitcraft or Minecraft. And of course, I can't forget the amount of Minecraft music videos, like Fallen Kingdom or Revenge from Captain Sparkles. At one point, Minecraft was YouTube. It dominated the platform with its category, with many Minecraft creators, big or small. But by the end of 2014 to mid-2015, Minecraft lost its crown. After all, Minecraft was five years old, and it was getting older as well as its audience, and some of them just grew out of the game. But that was it. Minecraft lost its top rule over YouTube. But even so, it was never gone. Minecraft just wasn't as popular, but some of the creators still made videos, and Minecraft was still updating to newer versions, adding more things and continuing to expand on its once bare-bones simplicity. And with each new update came new creators, and the next generation, leading up to Minecraft's 10-year anniversary in 2019. Because of this anniversary, you had the likes of PewDiePie and other big creators play a game that was entirely different from the last time they played it bring a new awareness to the game, and it helped introduce some new and recurring creators, like Dream, Technoblade, Green, Mumbo, and many more, all creating new Minecraft content, new SMPs, new challenges, builds, redstone, and stories. A game that started out with just blocks now drastically changed. You could trade, fly, explore new biomes, fight new creatures, build these huge redstone contraptions, and use items and blocks in the game that were never there before. The simplistic game was no longer simplistic, but even with all the new items, events, and interactions added, the base idea of the game was still there, to do whatever you wanted simply by using blocks and your imagination. So why is Minecraft still popular? Well, it goes back to that word I've been using this entire video. Simple. Minecraft at its foundation is simple. You spawn into a world with nothing but blocks and your imagination around you, where you can create and do whatever you wanted. And even if you go days, weeks, months, and it shows years, you could come back to this game, relearn a few things, and it's like you never left. Because Minecraft's able to do that. This game will continue to add new layers, new creators, players, and viewers. It will never be like it used to be. But that's okay. 
because of each new update, it will continue to let us experience the game in new ways like we haven't had before. But at its bare bones foundation, it's a simple block game where you can create, watch, and experience it in multiple ways, no matter how long you've played. That's why Minecraft is popular.